Okay, so let's jump into this video and start talking about our starting fuel and ignition trims. Now, when we go to fire per engine, we're gonna have an order of operations that the hull tech is gonna be applying to allow the engine to start up. We're gonna be finding we have a prime table, then a cranking table, then a post-start fuel table, and then a warm-up enrichment table. Now, we're also gonna be finding for ignition, we're gonna have a cranking and then a post-start ignition trim. So all of these tables are gonna be working together to allow our engine to fire up. So if we don't get one of the tables correct, we're going to be finding it either doesn't want to crank and fire, or when it fires up, it wants to die, or it wants to run really rich or really lean when it fires off and after it starts to run a bit. So we want to make sure this is all right. We want to understand how to work with all these tables. So we're going to be showing you how all of it works in this video. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check it out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our starting fuel and ignition trims in our Haltech Elite software. So before we begin doing any kind of actual tuning, for our cranking fuel and ignition timing. We have to understand that there's an order of operations in the Haltech ECU. We're gonna be finding if we move under our ECU navigator here, looking at our fuel and ignition timing, we're gonna be finding we have our base tables. This is our base VE table and I'm gonna volumetric efficiency style calculation in this particular video here. And I'm gonna be finding that I have my base ignition timing table. That's gonna be my main spark timing. Now in conjunction to these tables, when we go to fire off the engine, we have to provide it extra fuel above and beyond what's on this table or the engine simply won't fire off. That's especially true when the engine's cold. We're gonna be finding it needs a lot more fuel because we have a wall wetting effect occurring where when we spray fuel, it's gonna be sticking to the intake tracks and to the intake valve. That's not gonna get into the engine very efficiently. So we have to make sure that we compensate for that and overcome the wall wetting effect because we don't have good atomization when we have colder air inside the intake ports. So we're gonna be finding, we're gonna be using a prime pulse, a cranking, post-start correction, and then a coolant temp correction table. All of these tables are gonna be working with each other in different order. So we have to understand how each works and what role each plays in our starting. It's very, very important. Um, if you don't understand this, you're simply gonna be going in and changing values and tables, and it may not be doing what you want it to do because you may not understand how everything works here. We're gonna be finding the same is gonna hold true for ignition timing. We're going to be finding we have a cranking table and a post-start correction table that we have to understand as well. So all of this is going to play a role in our starting. So the very first thing that we need to do to begin to try to understand how to tune this is to create a custom page. Now we found here um, in our previous videos, we looked at the VE fuel tuning or the injection time or the mass airflow based fuel strategies. We created a custom page here that allows us to see and expose all of the relevant data in order